Hi everyone, we are Group 5, and our article is Budgeting, Perspective from the Real World. I'm Shi Yi Zhang. Someone thinks the traditional budgeting process is outdated. However, Libby and Lindsay did a survey in 2007, which shows that senior accounting and finance managers find the budgeting process to be more helpful than harmful overall. There is a pers- um, perception that operating managers could not function well without budgets. There are five main points in their study. First, how are budgets in modern for-profit organizations prepared? Does budgeting add value for organizations? If so, how? How satisfied are finance and accounting managers regarding the role that budgets play within an organization? What are the primary behavioral consequences, both positive and negative, of using budgets? What is the relationship, if any, between budgets and other management processes? Mm, let's talk about the background of survey. After scaring, they got a final sample of 720 uh, respondents, all of them from for-profit ent- entities in corporate or segment level. They collected the data of their company's industry and revenues. On average, respondents had 30 years of budgeting experiences. Based on all of this background, we think this survey is reliable. Okay, let's talk about the descriptive uh, characteristics of the budgeting process, uh, which is the initial part of the survey. Uh, it may focus. It mainly focuses on how budgets were developed and how they were used for planning and con- control purpose. There are three parts of this. First is the development of the budget. Uh, second is planning. Third is feedback or control purpose. According to 69.2% of respondents, uh, the development of the budget is accomplished via a uh, negotiation, negoti- uh, negotiated process, um, a combination of top down and bottom up. Further, 85% of respondents started that this process was the sa- same throughout the entire company. In terms of planning, 69.5 of respondents of respondents indicates that the primary planning to continues to be the static budget. Um, it valid for only one planned volume level, but majority of respondents continue to use the to use it, giving the available options for planning p- purpose. Regarding feedback or control purpose. Uh, most respondents compared actual result to budgeted uh, result on a monthly basis using both financial and non-financial measures. Moreover, 78% of respondents reported that managerial compensation plans. Um, that's all my part. Let's move on. Hi, I'm Francisco Cordero. And uh, I'm going to talk about the next part of our survey, which asks for respondents to rate the usefulness of the budgeting system as it relates to specific business-related objectives, Uh, objectives that include strategic planning and resource planning and operational control, communication, coordination across subunits, coordination across functional areas, motivation and incentive rewards, determination. As you can see here from table one, the majority of respondents think that the budget is either useful or very useful when it comes to the given objectives. Now traditionally budgeting systems were only considered to be important for planning and controlling purposes, but these managers indicate that the budgeting could be useful in many different aspects of business. Many respondents indicated that the budget is useful for 
the listed objectives, but there were some for which more than 10% of respondents indicated that the budget was either not very useful or not at all useful. Uh, things like coordination across subunits, which 21% which thought it was not at all useful or not very useful. Uh, functional areas with 19%, motivation with 14%, and incentive rewards determination with 11%. Um, there is an uh, as you can see here from uh, from panel B, there's not much of a difference between the corporate and the segment level respondents in what they said, except for that segment segment level respondents uh, thought the budget to be more useful as it relates to strategic planning, while corporate level respondents indicate greater usefulness in terms of resource and operational planning. Uh, the corporate level respondents also think that the budget is more useful when coordinating across subunits as well as a good tool for incentive rewards determination. Uh, the next part of the survey um, asked participants to rate the satisfaction they feel from the budgeting system. Uh, here, uh, More than 40 percent are largely satisfied with budgeting process except for the teamwork and cooperation or coordination across the subunits and the functional areas. Uh, panel B shows that the segment level are more sa satisfied the corporate level respondents except for operational planning. Next, um, our correspondents were asked about how the process adds value to the organization, not just satisfaction or um, not just satisfaction. Uh, Forty percent of them said that it, it meets its overall goal, while 23 percent of them feel that it adds relatively little to no value. Now this is much different than what we saw in table one or two where most of the respondents thought that it created a lot of value and that it was satisfied to them. Now this, this disparity could be due to a couple things. It could be due to the respondents thinking that uh, they applied a cost-benefit test when judging the value added or the term value added could possibly mean different things to different people. And there could also be lots of challenges that keep budgeting processes from potentially adding value which include unrealistic goals set for the budget, uh, lack of accountability, changes in product mix, changing cost of the budget period, the accuracy of budget estimates, lack of resources, inability to correctly prioritize planning, and the politics and the culture of the firm. I'm going to pass it on to the next person now. Hi, my name is Yuan Shu. The survey saw participants' perceptions regarding the behavioral consequences associated with the use of budgets. According to Figure 1, compared to cooperate level respondents, more segment level managers either agreed or strongly agreed that the budget blocks employees' initiatives, pressures man managers to make decisions with a short-term focus, inhibit management's response to change, pressures employees to achieve targets, and encourages a myopic planning horizon. While Figure 1 indicates negative behavior consequences of budgeting, Figure 2 presents positive behavior effects of budgeting. For either the agree or strongly agree responses, a lower percentage of segment managers indicates that budgets can be used to support continuous improvement and motivate information and knowledge sharing across subunits. This result shows that there is more support for budgeting process as a value-added proposition at a cooperative level compared to the segment level. Hi, I'm Chen Chen. Uh, let's look at the relationship between budgeting and the other management practice. A budget is part of a firm's strategic planning process would be integrated with other management practice. To explore those relationships, we ask responders whether the company 
used any of the following individual practices. The most frequently used practice was summary chain management and the balanced scorecard. The response indicates that managers perceive the budget function as capable of being integrated with modern management practice. Hello, I'm Jian Ding. I'm talking about the conclusion of this project. So this article is to help us in future budgeting. Our study provides an up-to-date real-world look at the budgeting practice, a symbol of a U.S. profit-seeking organization. It also provides evidence as to the market's perce perception of different budgeting practices. It has some level of dissatisfaction regarding the value added from the budgeting process was loaded by respondents to our survey. So study to determine conditions under which such a move is terrible would contribute greatly to our knowledge of budgeting process. Thank you. That's all.